Hi, in this video I'm going to build a Rails application with the standard JavaScript and then I will change that JavaScript code to be ES6 code and we will see what all changes we need to make to the Rails application so that the ES6 JavaScript code works and also we will deploy the application on Heroku so that we make sure that there is no issue with asset pipeline and whatnot. So first let's see uh, which version of Rails I'm using. So I have the latest uh, Rails uh, 421 and let's create Rails demo application. So we have our Rails application um, here and the only change I made is I switched uh, from SQLite uh, 3 to PG because uh, we need uh, PG uh, for uh, deployment to Heroku. And after the bundle install, I'm doing, I'm going to do Rails generate a scaffold user name a string. So we'll just have user and we'll do rake db create db migrate. And now let's go and look at uh, the JavaScript file. So here we have users.coffee. So we'll change the from dot coffee extension to dot uh, js. So now we have users.js and we'll create a function fn is equal to a function which takes the name of the fun of the person and it will it will on the console it will say console.log hello name and end with a bang okay and then here we'll invoke the function with world so let's start the server go to localhost 3 slash users let's go to console and in the console we see hello world so so far so good now let's deploy this uh, application to Heroku. So our application has been deployed and I visited the page slash users. So this page came up. Now let's look at console and in the console we see the message hello world. So, so far so good. This application is all set. It's deployed to Heroku. Now it's time to go ahead and make the changes. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to add two gems to the gem file. So these are the two gems, Sprocket ES6 and Babel Transpiler. So let's save them and then let's do bundle install. And while the bundle install is running, what we need to do is we need to, we can close this. And then what we need to do is we need to change the code to be ES6 compliant. So we'll change it, we'll remove function, we'll put a fat arrow and we will make use of the string interpolation technique available in ESX which makes it look a lot more like Ruby okay so we have made all the changes so this looks good however there is one more thing we need to do and that is we need to change the file extension from dart.js to dart.js dot ES6. So let's change the name to ES6. Yes. Okay, so now we have ES6. Now let's uh, start the server. Let's go to localhost 3000 slash users. And let's see if we are still able to see hello world. So we are able to see hello world and it's working. Uh, fine so it means that our ESX code is working now let's try to deploy this application to Heroku so the application has been deployed now let me refresh the page and after refreshing I'm seeing hello world uh, once again so so that looks good it seems uh, everything is working fine the asset pipeline worked without an issue 
just to see what is the final change let's use git x and here i had the first commit and then the es6 changes so as part of the es6 changes we can see that all i did was in the gem file i added these two gems and then we change the code obviously from uh, ECMAScript 5 to ES6 and then we added the extension dot ES6 and that's it thank you I'll see you next time